Now that we know how to write a good introduction paragraph to a critical essay, let's look at how to write a good supporting paragraph. There are four steps that we want to remember. Step one is to make a topic sentence that relates to your thesis. Step two is to have an argument against the topic sentence. Step three, you want a reason why that argument is wrong. And then in step four, you want supporting examples. And so that could be step four, five, six, and seven. You can have multiple supporting examples. So let's take a look at our presidential candidate, Barack Obama. Let's pretend that he didn't already win. And let's pretend that we're writing an essay about why Barack Obama is a superior candidate to Mitt Romney. And let's say one of our paragraphs in this essay is, Barack Obama is a superior candidate to, to Mitt Romney. True, Obama faltered during the first presidential debate and did not revamp the economy to the extent that he promised. Obama, however, proved during his first four years of office that he is a strong president. He ended the war in Iraq and saved the auto industry. So let's dissect how this paragraph follows our first four rules. Our first sentence, Barack Obama is a superior candidate to Mitt Romney. And that is a strong topic sentence that relates to our thesis. Our next sentence, true, Obama faltered during the first presidential debate and did not revamp the economy to the extent that he promised. So this is our argument against the topic sentence where we're bringing in the opposing perspective's point of view, somebody who would want Romney to win. And take note that I used the word true here. True is one of those words that you use when you're talking about the opposing argument's view and then you're about to prove why that view is wrong. Another one of these words is indeed, it may appear, and at first glance you could all use instead of true. And many more besides that as well, but those are common ones. All right, so now we are going to say why the argument against the topic sentence is wrong. Obama, however, proved during his first four years of office that he is a strong president. So even though he may have done some not so great things, he's still better than Mitt Romney. And then we're going to support that example with he ended the war in Iraq and saved the auto industry. And again, we could have more supporting examples after that. And then we're going to throw in a conclusion. But that's it. Writing a well-constructed supporting paragraph really isn't that difficult. So now we can all be a little bit happier that we are better writers.